I'm here to bust a myth. And no, I'm not trying to be a quote unquote myth buster. Because nothing's going to blow up. The myth. You need a lot of room between a DeLorean and another car to open the DeLorean's doors. Well, we're about to find out. So we got 10 inches. We got 10 inches in there. <gasps> oh, don't open that door. It might hit the car next to it. Oh, it's not hitting. How come? Because it's a DeLorean. That's why. Right. So everyone so, that thinks that you can't open the DeLorean door. There's still more than three inch clearance there. It's about three and a half. Yep. Still only need about nine eight, inches. Nine inches. So until today. So you need nine inches there. Not against the car. But what about next to a wall? Oh, I'm too close to this wall. I might not even be able to get out. Wow, that's what I call tight. That is. Now what I will do. Back. There's our 11 inches. Actually, that's 12. But there's about an inch left on the door, though. Right. So about 11 inches. 11 inches parked against the wall. Yep. Go ahead, open the door. Okay. See, now you got about one inch. Yep. So, proof is in the pudding. Yep. Well, the proof is in the pudding. And the pudding here is 9 inches against the car and 11 inches against the wall. So I guess that means that you don't need a lot of room between you and a car or a wall to open up the door of a DeLorean DMZ-12. My name is Kenny Strode. And... I don't know if it's copyrighted or not by the Mythbusters, but this myth has been busted. Thank you. Also, I'd like to give a special thanks to Don Steger, the owner of DeLorean Motor Company, California, for letting us, for letting me and him both use the uh, DeLorean there, which we saw in the uh, video. Um, if you'd like to learn more about the DeLorean, go to DeLorean.com. If you'd like to talk with Don Steger, go ahead and leave me a comment. And I can give you his email slash phone number. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Have a good day.